Way, welcome to me and my glorious YouTube studio. It's getting closer to Christmas, and I got something really, really cool for you. It's a flat snowman thermometer. Uh, now, let me show you what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a piece of paper, and it's a bit stiff like this. See, it's a bit thick. Then a piece of blue paper, and it's the same thickness. And a piece of black paper, the same. Uh, orange paper, the same. And I also have a smaller piece of paper that is a bit thinner. You don't really need it, but it's good to have because it's always handy for small details. Then you need a bottle cap from any type of bottle, a uh, split pin, split pin, pin split, split pin, a uh, pencil, some color pencils, a marker, brush, a little bit of black paint, um, and something to cut with. And finally, glue. I think we are ready to start. Are you ready? Okay, come on closer and let's get started. The first thing we do is to get all the bits together. We start with the white paper and then we need something to uh, draw a, a perfect circle with. So how about a little plate? Position, position it like that, upside down. Uh, you gotta find a plate that has, you know, roughly the right size. Uh, <clears throat> depends how big you want your snowman. Then, we make a, we draw a line with a blue pencil and we make it nice and thick. You need to hold the uh, plate really steady and then now I'm shifting my hand so that it's easier to draw on the other side. Shifting my, oops, shifting my hand again. Get it back in position there. And then rub hard to make a nice strong blue line. There. Then grab another item i'm going to use this uh, tape roll because the inside of the tape roll is perfect for the size of the head of the snowman so i draw around the inside of the tape roll like that nice circle then you need a medium size a big one small one and this one is perfect for a medium size uh, circle so i put it like this draw around it now we have the three snowballs for the snowman and then we'll cut them out and i have already been doing some cutting let me show you here they are see this is what they look like when they're cut out there now the reason why i used a blue um pencil is so that they'll stand out you see you can see them the 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 blue ring uh, uh, around the snowball so that you can separate this one from this one to this one okay so they are ready then you get your uh, little bit of orange paper out take a pencil make a small shape like this roughly that size and then we cut that out too like this okay so now we have the the beak or the not the beak the the nose the carrot then you take the piece of black paper and draw the arms you start with a circle and then arms out one arm out like this now measure the length it should go from the middle, middle here. That's where the circle is in the middle like that. And then go out, yeah, that's just about right. You know, sticking out from the biggest uh, snowball about that much, that's pretty good. So you got the right length and we'll draw two. Roughly something like that. Yeah, I mean, it does, doesn't have to be exactly like mine, but you know, this is, basically what you need so you cut them out too there can you see those there so we put them here 
Whoops, sorry, I was a bit too fast there. You will also need the um, the rim of the hat. And if you take your bottle cap, it should be about that size. So if the bottle cap is this side, it should be a little bit uh, bigger than the, the bottle cap. Then you cut that out and you will end up with something like this, see? There. Okay, then we're going to make the snowman scarf. For that, I will use the thinner uh, piece of paper. You can use the thicker as well, but you know, sometimes thinner paper is easier to work with on the small stuff. So I cut a strip of paper about this uh, wide, and then I fold it in half. But I don't fold it straight, I fold it a bit like this, you see? Can you see that? I fold it like this. Then we check the length of the scarf. You see, the length, the scarf is coming from the center, here, going out. So let's say uh, one is, one is the, 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 the one uh, underneath is about this long and the one on top is about that long. Yeah, that's roughly what you'll need. Okay, we're getting the pieces together here. We have the body of the snowman, we have the arms, we have the nose, we have the scarf, we have the uh, rim of the hat and the hat itself. Uh, now we'll need, uh, yeah, the blue background. Okay, uh, all we need to do here is to cut a to cut a shape like this. See, I mean you can cut any shape you like, but I thought that was quite a, 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 a quite a nice shape. Okay, time to color up the scarf. I'm starting with red, coloring a stripe. So you stripe it up. Oops, easier if you unfold it a bit. Stripe up the scarf, first with red, then with green, and I'm, and I'm leaving a little stripe of white on each side as well. See, that's a nice pattern, very Christmassy pattern. Then when you close this one, you see that now you need to color on this side. So, do the same thing, stripe, stripe, green stripe with a white stripe on each side. Then you're getting a, a scarf like that. And now we are ready to paint the hat or the bottle cap if you wish. You take the bottle cap and you paint it. When you paint those little grooves, go this way. Paint with the grooves like that. Then when you're finished, you will end up with a cap like this when it's dry. There. Okay, looks like we are ready to put it all together. For that, you will need a uh, split pin like this. You know one of those and uh, a bit of glue. I don't know if you noticed, but my scarf has a little hole in it. So has the rim of the hat. And so does the, um, the two arms. You can see the little hole here. Uh, now, let me show you how you do that. Because you need a hole here as well, uh, in the middle. So you pos position them exactly in the center like this. And then you get something pointy. It could be the tip of the scissors or something else pointy, but be careful here, right? You're dealing with sharp instruments. So make sure you take it nice and easy. Maybe get the help of an adult. At least be very careful and put something, something soft underneath, like a piece of cardboard. In my case, I have a cutting mat. That's quite perfect for it. Uh, and then poke really slowly, drill really, really slowly, and then slowly, slowly, slowly without uh, any crazy movements you are making a little hole so let's see how now yeah 
coming through in a second watch your fingers there take it nice and easy there yeah got a nice hole so now everything has a hole can you see exactly where the holes go whoops i'm gonna need a hole in this one as well and let's say you position the snowman it depends where you want to put your snowman i want to put mine in the middle you can put here 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 anyway i want to put him in the middle so we then can see that the hole is roughly there we take that away so it's there make a little hole here as well there just enough to poke this pin through but we're going to start with okay this is important you got to pay attention to, the, to this uh, you start with the rim of the hat so you put it through here then you put it through the, the top uh, the head of the snowman like this and put a little bit of glue uh, in between here so that they stick together see these that's that one and that one needs to stick together okay a bit of glue then we put uh, the scarf through because the scarf need to be next to the head then we put the arms that's below the scarf is the arm so one and two okay so now you have this then you put it <clears throat> through the next snowball and the next snowball and then finally through the the background or the the ground which is blue okay there you turn it around and you split the pin there okay so now we can move this see the, the scarf the, um, the top uh, layer there together now uh, the arms can be moved basically everything can move uh, and then we put on the oops put on the bottle cap some glue Stick it on and of course now we cover the head of the pin so it's quite nice nobody knows that there is a pin hiding uh, under there I'm gonna wipe off the excess glue there it's uh, when it's dry it's more transparent okay that's a nice hat okay now anywhere here you can then glue on the nose the carrot little dab of glue stick it on anywhere let's see uh, here that's a good spot now we are going to draw the face of the snowman so I'm going to remove the or move the arms and the scarf a bit away so I have some space to work we'll start with the teeth or the mouth whatever you want to call it the smile so little little pebbles like that black pebbles yeah that's a nice smile then the eyes one on each side of the carrot one eye two eyes oh what a lovely face nice and then some buttons on the you know on the body of the snow we can put them anywhere so here's a button here it's one here and one down here for this to be a thermometer we will need a uh, a way of you know measuring how cold it is outside so i'm now going to swap in with the one that is dry so this is all dry now we don't need to worry about this falling off um okay let me show you 
I have cut out a bunch of uh, little snowballs. See here? Little snowballs. Just from the, the, the thin uh, sheet of paper. So now, uh, let's see. Uh, see, all this can move now, so we can stick it on pretty much anywhere. So let's say we go from cold. One snowball means uh, cold. There. Okay, so that's cold. Then over here, we can have very cold. So let's say two snowballs, that'll be very cold. Oh, that's very cold. Then up here, we can have uh, really freezing. That's three snowballs. Three snowballs is really freezing. And then over here, we can have a whole bunch of snowballs. Whoa. So every day you can set your flat snowman thermometer according to how cold it is. So let's say, you know, you just use your, uh, uh, the, <laughs> and grab the hat here. Uh, cold, uh, very cold, super freezy, freezy cold, and mega, totally North Pole, frozen, frozen stiff, mega cold. Oh yeah, I tell you, you really need one of those. Even if you live in a warm country, you can have a snowman telling everybody how warm it is. It's like warm, very warm, super warm, and really, really mega hot. <laughs> ah, you can use this snowman for anything. Okay, everybody, uh, keep on watching my channel. Have a wonderful Christmas. Uh, check out my channel very soon because I have more ideas for you. Bye.